Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to split data into columns or rows. And this is going to be using Power Query. So maybe for example we've got data here. This is a two column table. And we've got data here that is in one, one cell here. And it's separated by line breaks. And we want to break it out into something like this, into almost a proper table. But this is probably something you see familiar with uh, data that's seen that separates into dates, months, quarters, etc., years. And originally it comes in this format and you want to kind of break it out. Now this is separating it by columns. Now if we wanted to separate some data by rows, maybe we have something example like this, where we also have maybe something coming out of some kind of source system. And the data in one cell or one column is all, just all separated by line breaks or commas or whatever. And we want to get into proper table format where we have our item and serial number. We have our item serial number here. You can see that we have our item here. Maybe this is a big family category and we have our serial numbers here. And we want to separate these out, not by columns, but by rows. Now I'll show you how to use Power Query for both of these examples. So let's get into the column one. We'll do this one first. Uh, we have our example here. I need to turn this into a table. Go to insert and table. Uh, my table does not have headers. I don't need to worry about headers here because there's no headers in the first row. Click OK. And we're going to bring this into Power Query after we create a table. So the table is created. We have our table design or table contextual menu here. But go under the ribbon under data and get and transform data from table. We're going to bring it into the table and we're going to transform that second column, that B column. So as the Power Query editor comes up, now the Power Query editor is up. We want to transform this column. We want to separate the data here and split it into columns. I select that column, right click, go under split. And incidentally, there's also another area where you can do this. You can go to the transform and we go to split column. So this is kind of the same, but we'll do it on the column here. Right click, go to split columns, and we're going to split by delimiter. And the delimiter is going to be that line break. Uh, other times, other delimiters you can have are commas, as I mentioned before, or semicolons, or you can just specify your own. Excel is kind of smart enough to figure out that there is a line break, and that's what this hash LF uh, in the parentheses stands for, line feed. And so we want to split that at each occurrence of a delimiter, and we're going to separate into columns. It's also smart enough to know that there are 12 values. It's probably looking into the first cell here and knows that there's 12 values here, so that's why I probably put 12 in there. So I'm going to click OK, and now it's split it out. You can see that my first column are these just generic column headers, and I need to promote these to the top. So under Transform, use row headers, first row as headers, click that. Now these become the first row headers. That, I'll just call this attribute, it's not month anymore. I'll just call this attribute because it's just the attribute of quantity. Press enter, go to home, and we'll go ahead and put this into a new worksheet, close and load to, and it will ask us where we want to load it to, uh, what, what type of format first, and also where we want to load it to. And so we have our import data, we want to load it as a table. Let's put it into a new worksheet, click OK. And now we would have our new worksheet here with that information here. Now we have a new worksheet and we split our data into columns. So let's see how we can split our data into rows. We'll do this example now where we have our bunch of data that are line feeds and split that into a split that into rows. So go into row. This is my data here. Turn this into a table, insert table. And my table does have headers. Click OK. Go to data again. And under the get and transform, we're going to get this from the table range. And we're going to split it, do the same format that we had, but just choose our row option radio button instead of, of our column option radio button. So select that, right click, go under split column by delimiter again. This is also a line feed. As I mentioned before, you can have commas, semicolons, whatnot. But, uh, and I'll show you, actually, I should show you the drop down. We have different delimiters that we can choose from. So Excel, again, was smart enough to figure out it's a line feed. We do want it at each occurrence. And we don't want columns, we want rows. And that changes the parameter a little bit. So click OK. 
and it's going to split it into rows. You can see it's kind of nicely split it, split it, and it's repeated this item category or this item value. This could be the family under the serial number. I will click close and load and load this as a new worksheet. Table, new worksheet, click OK, and it's going to put it as a new worksheet. So here's the way that you can split values into columns or rows. If you don't have Power Query, there's another way that you can do it by using the text to columns feature in Excel. I'll put a link in the description of this video to go to that other video. But if you do this on a reoccurring basis or you have large amounts of data, Power Query is actually a nice and probably better way to do this. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.